a coach, the process of creating content can feel extremely overwhelming. But let's be honest, with 79% of the population utilizing social media, it's going to work in your favor if you too also maximize showing up on social media. But don't worry, content creation doesn't have to be overwhelming. In fact, after watching today's video, I'm pretty sure you'll feel even more confident approaching the social media world with creative content because I'm going to share four different types of content that every coach needs. The first type of content that every coach needs is client attraction content. Obviously, we want to make sales, but it can't just be all about sales. As a coach, it's about service as well as getting people to know you. The reality is whatever it is that you're offering people, there's another coach in the world likely offering the same thing. And if someone were to choose to work with you, it wouldn't just be because of what you offer, but because you are the person that's offering that. So the client attraction content is going to allow people to know who you are and really bring them into your space. So client attraction content consists of creating like really relatable reels. It can be sharing a quote. It could be sharing something funny about your day. I recently burned a grilled cheese sandwich and I do not like cooking. Now, this was my fault. I wasn't watching it, but I was honest. I like posted it and I'm like, this is what happens when you try to multitask when you have no business multitasking especially when you're doing something you don't like. And so I had all these people write me like, oh my gosh, you burned a grilled cheese and it created this community. It created this sense of like knowing who I am behind the coach. And so think of content like that. It's not you trying to sell anything. It's just you really showing who you are as a person and letting people have an opportunity to relate to you and get to know you a little bit better. If you're a little bit confused about where to start, look at some reels that you love and think about how you can take that idea and switch it or adjust it to make it fit your audience or to make it align with who you are as a person. If you just see a really funny meme, share that meme, but talk about why it's funny to you. If there's a quote that's super powerful, share that quote and talk about why it's relatable or what it means to you or what you would do as it relates to that quote. There's literally so much content on social media, so we don't have to overwhelm ourselves. We don't have to overthink it. You can just look at what other people are doing, are doing and adjust it to fit your personal style. Why recreate the wheel when there's already something that you can build upon? The second type of content that you're going to need is brand building. You want people to see you as a brand or as a business. And so this is your opportunity to show your level of expertise, to show your zone of genius. So this content can look like here are three tips to creating a budget. Here are three strategies that I use to write a book. With this kind of content, what I have found to be really powerful is also sharing stories, but as it relates to my brand. So when I was writing books, I would share my journey of writing a book because I also was coaching people on writing a book. This highlighted my expertise because I was still in the trenches, but I was also sharing my knowledge and my learnings with other people. This is your opportunity to really solidify yourself as the expert so that when someone thinks of this particular topic, they know to go to you. So if you're a human design coach, talk about the way in which you live human design throughout your life. Talk about the way in which people may not know anything about human design and what are the most pressing facts for them to know or the number three things for them to take away from a reading or whatever it may be. Because when they think of that particular topic, you want them to be able to lean into you as the expert that you know you truly are. Once you've laid the foundation of the client attraction content and the brand building content, you now get to move into the sales content, which is the third type of content that every coach needs. With sales content, this is where you get to sell. With the other two forms of content, you're offering service. You're letting people know that you care. You're letting people know you're passionate about it. You're highlighting yourself as an expert. This is your opportunity to actually let them know what the next step is, to actually give them a call to action, to help them understand what they're supposed to do with all the information you gave. A big mistake I see a lot of coaches make is that they give a ton of information, but there's no room for application. They're not telling people what that next step is. Sales content is your opportunity to be able to do that. 
stories, statistics, and emotions work really, really well with sales content. And the reason being is because you're really speaking to their pain points, you're letting them know important information that they should know, and you're making it relatable. So let me give you an example. If you're using something like emotions, let's say that you're um, a divorce coach, right? You're helping people heal after divorce. You could say something like, I remember what it felt like to wake up out of bed and feel like life was purposeless. I remember waking up and feeling like I had no identity outside of that relationship. But I got tired and sick and tired of being sick and tired and I was ready to take that next step. That is bringing in people's emotions. You're making it very relatable. You're making it very real and you're pushing on those pain points that they're sick and tired of and ready to overcome. Statistics also are shocking. They shock people into wanting to take action. So for example, if you're a coach around goal setting, you could say, do you know only 8% of people actually reach their goals? Are you sick and tired of living the same year over and over and over again, calling it life? Bringing in those statistics and letting them know that they don't want to be what they don't want to do what everyone else is doing. They want to do something different. If they want something different, they got to do something different, which is taking that next step. So weaving in those statistics are huge. And then that brings us to stories. Stories are also really powerful because stories are relatable. So have you personally experienced this? Have you personally overcome something? Have you personally um, helped somebody bridge the gap from where they are to where they want to be? Share those stories because that lets people know like, Oh, that person is doing that. Wow. How can I also do that? That may be available for me as well. With sales content, you want to get straight to the point. You don't want to like tiptoe around the fact that you're asking for the sale. You want to let them know that this is the sale that they're going to want to commit to because they'll be grateful that they did. So list out the benefits of what it's going to be like to work with you. List out the outcome that they'll achieve when they take this commitment. List out why they need to be committed to this now. List out why this is different than any other reason, right? And don't do this all in one post, but spread it out, letting people know the value of what it means to commit to engaging and interacting and working with you and taking it to that next level. Finally, that brings us to our fourth type of content, which actually kind of is woven in to the third content, which is sales content. But the fourth con piece of content is validation content. The reality is you're an amazing coach. You have amazing things to offer. Your voice will probably change the world. You know that, but a lot of times we put our blood, sweat, and tears figuratively into something. And so we hype it up, we gas it up, we're excited, we're ready to share it with the world and people expect that. But what are other people's outcomes? What are other people's results? And how can you begin to share this? Even if you've done a free call with somebody, share the result that they got, share the insight that they received from doing that. And when you're sharing testimonials, when you're sharing reviews, when you're sharing feedback that other people gave you, it gives those people that are on the fence the permission to jump over because now they see, oh wow, if this was available for this person or this person took a risk, I also am able to do the same thing. Not only am I able to do the same thing, but I am likely to receive the same outcome. When I use validation and sales content, one thing that I like to do is I like to really push on reasons that people may not commit to taking that next step. So for example, one of the things that people talk about is not having enough time to commit to you know this next step. I'll talk about a client who came to me who also didn't feel like they had enough time and their outcome by pushing past that limiting belief, right? If it's you know money, I'll talk about why money can impact our success, but more importantly, I'll talk about the opportunities that I have to make money not a, not a barrier, not an obstacle. So maybe talking about payment plans or talking about the outcome that they got by investing their money, something like that. When you speak to these concerns or these worries and you address them up front, those people feel really heard. They, often, they also feel really safe and they're more likely to commit to that next step. All in all, creating content for your online coaching business can sometimes feel overwhelming, but the one thing that I want you to take away from today is it's bigger than sales. You have to show up from a place of service, a place of passion first, and if you don't do that, it can be close to impossible for you to get your clients to take that next step. But if you show up from a place of passion, that place of service, then people are going to trust you to take that next step, to take that leap of faith, to be able to work with you. The good news is now you understand the type of content that you need to create, how to begin to organically engage with your audience 
and increase your overall success as it relates to content creation and bringing in new clients. If you're looking for more tools, more strategies, and more support on the journey to being able to increase your income and your impact, then you're in the right place. If you use the link below, you can join me for my totally free Get Your Next Client Now bundle, where I'll walk you through the process of increasing your magnetism and increasing your success. So use the link below and I look forward to seeing you there.